Hi, my name is Kimberly Nassis from Section and 3D, and I'm here to present to you a, um, a brief discussion about my topic, tuberculosis. My topic is about tuberculosis. So, tuberculosis is a potentially serious infectious disease that mainly affects the lungs. The bacteria that cause tuberculosis are spread from person to person through, through tiny droplets released into the air via coughs and sneezes. So here in the Philippines, we know naman that tuberculosis is one of the leading communicable diseases. So there are two forms of tuberculosis, which is the latent and the active. The latent TB, you have a TB infection but the bacteria in your body are inactive and cause no symptoms. Latin TB, also called inactive TB or TB infection, infection isn't contagious. While the active TB in a man, also called TB disease, this condition makes you sick and in most cases can spread to others. It can occur weeks or years after infection with the TB bacteria. So Latin TB, um, dito, uh, di pa siya nakakahawa and will uh, and di rin nag appear pa yung mga signs and symptoms. While sa active naman, dito na yung nakakahawa na then dito na din nag appear yung mga signs and symptoms ng tuberculosis. So, sa signs and symptoms, ang uh, makikita sa taong may, may TB or tuberculosis, um, blood, cough, fever, chest pain, chills, long-term cough, weight loss, fatigue, and night sweat. See your doctor if you have a fever and explain weight loss, drenching night sweat, or a persistent cough. These are often indications of TB but can also resu result from other conditions. Also, see your doctor if you think you've been exposed to TB. Next is, what causes TB? Tuberculosis is caused by bacteria that spread from, a, from person to person through microscopic, microscopic droplets released into the air. This can happen when someone with the untreated active form of tuberculosis coughs, speaks, sneezes, spits, laughs, or sings. Next is um, risk factors. Um, first is um, mahina immune system. And then next, traveling or living in uh, certain areas. Um, for example, here, um, here in the Philippines, kasi dito sa bansa natin, leading communicable si siya. So, possible na everywhere lang din siya. And uh, madali, lang, madali ka din mahawa. So, kasama siya sa mga risk factors. And then, using substances. Um, like IV drugs or alcohol, may, ano, uh, may weaken your immune system and make you more vulnerable to TB. Then, using tobacco... Uh, or paninigarilyo, which increases the risk of getting TB. Then, working in healthcare. Since sa mga healthcare places, may regular contact with people um, who are ill and may increase the chances of exposure to TB. Then, living or working in a residential care facility. Um, dito naman, people who live or work in prisons, homeless shelters, psychiatric hospitals, or nursing homes, they are higher they are high risk of getting TB because of um, overcrowding and poor ventilation. Then living with someone infected with TB because of close contact to someone who has a tuberculosis. And next is complications. For the complications, without treatment, without treatment of tuberculosis can be fatal. This disease typically affects the lungs, pero di lang lungs ang pwedeng maapektahan. Ito, it can be affected the other parts of your body as well.
Um, um, first, for example, spinal pain. Uh, back pain and stiff stiffness are common complications of tuberculosis. Second, um, joint damage, arthri arthritis that results from tuberculosis or tuberculosis arthritis, which will affect the hips and knees. The swelling of the membranes that cover your brain or meningitis. This can cause a lasting or intermittent headache that occurs for weeks and possible mental changes. Next is the liver or kidney problems. Your liver and kidney help filter waste and impurities from your blood's bloodstream. Tuberculosis in these organs can impair their functions. And heart disorders. Then rarely, tuberculosis can infect the tissues that surround your heart, causing inflammation and fluid collections that might interfere with your heart's ability to pump effectively. This condition called cardiac tamponade. Next, treating tuberculosis. For the treatment, with treatment, TB can almost always be cured. A course of antibiotics will usually need to be taken for six months. Several different antibiotics are used because some forms of TB are resistant to certain antibiotics. Um, if you are infected with a drug-resistant form of TB, treatment with six or more different medications may be needed. Since drug-resistant nga siya, yung form ng TB na yon, pwedeng paiba-iba din yung medication na tinatake mo. Next is, um, if you're diagnosed with pulmonary TB, you'll be contagious for about 2 to 3 weeks into your course of treatment. You will not usually need to be isolated during this time, but it's important to take some basic precautions to stop the infection spreading to your family and friends. Next, um, tips to help keep your friends and family from getting sick. First, you stay away from work, school, or college until your TB treatment team advises you it's safe to return. Second, always cover your mouth when coughing, sneezing, or laughing. And carefully dispose of any used tissues in a sealed plastic bag. Next, open windows when possible to ensure a good supply of fresh air in the areas where you spend them. Because germs spread more easily in a small closed space um, when air doesn't move. Next is avoid sleeping in the same room as other people. Um, last, wearing a face mask when you're around that when you're around other people during the first three weeks of treatment may help lessen the risk of transmission. Then finish the medication. This is the most important step you can take to protect yourself and others from, from tuberculosis. When you stop treatment, elite or skip doses, TB bacteria have a chance to develop mutations that allow them to survive the most potent TB drugs. The, result, the resulting drug resistance strains are deadlier and more difficult to treat. And then, and then vaccination for TB. The BCG, which stands for Bacillus calmegarine vaccine, offers protection against TB and is recommended on the NHS for babies, children, and adults under the age of 35 who are considered to be at risk of catching TB. The BCG vaccine is not routinely given to anyone over the age of 35 as there is no evidence that it works for people in this age group. So that's all. Thank you.